News of Drew's sentencing will spread quickly. Carly blames herself for not finding the best solution for the person she loves. Zeke insists that they still have seven days to change Judge Kim's ruling. Michael will do something to support Drew. He needs Sonny's guidance. The mob boss will do all he can to help Drew reduce his sentence. In the same time, the person who is suffering the most is Nina. She couldn't believe her accusations got Drew three years in prison. Ava Jerome realizes the gravity of the problem. She wonders if Nina's compassion will rise again. Willow's mother would not bear to see her benefactor lose his freedom for so long. She will contact Martin to see if there is a way to fix the problem. Speaking of Martin, he unfortunately fell into the pool with his phone. Nina is not able to connect with him. Because she is so impatient, she decides to go find him. However, it is Ned who stands in her way. Ned's appearance at the Savoy leads her stunned. Brooklyn's father speculates that he and Nina may have met somewhere because he feels her face so familiar. Nina will be steered from one emotion to another by Ned's words. Naturally, she fears that he will remember who she is and their final confrontation before he falls into the pool. There are a million issues she need, needs to deal with, but Ned will be friendly with this woman. There are some rumors that Ned is pretending to have amnesia. If so, I'm really curious about his plan. At the PCPD, Laura will announce that Jordan will take over as mayor of hers. Laura is going to Russia to look for her son, and that leaves Austin and Ava restless. Before they vehemently block Laura's trip, they need to give Mason about Sonny's business information. Austin suggests an idea to Ava, which is to find a new nanny for Sonny to easily gather the necessary information. And back with Martin. He will be brought to shore safely. Diane will deliver the shocking news that will make him tremble with fear. Lucy Co. will stand up for her man. Some GH spoilers reveal that Diane seems to want to mine Martin to see. Who is behind the insider trading? Lucy's loose mouth would probably go astray, causing Nina's name to be mentioned in her sentence. Finally, Trina will confide in her best friend, Jocelyn. She feels that there are too many differences between her and Spencer. She wonders if they can come together. Their conversation will be interrupted by Cameron, who returns home for his summer vacation.